I really enjoyed participating in the North American Generator Forum 2018 annual meeting. This forum is sponsored by the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, or NERC, the organization in charge of keeping our infrastructure safe, our electric infrastructure. Over 100 participants representing 40 utilities discuss some of the most pressing issues in our industry. Out of all these items, I wanted to highlight a couple that I think will be of interest to you. The first one is the increasing linkage between the gas supply system and electric generation. With the proliferation of gas fuel power plants due to the retirement of coal and nuclear plants, and in addition, with the increased use of renewables and then using the gas power plants to back up these renewables, some new demands are being placed on the gas infrastructure that was designed a few years ago. So what is the challenge? First of all, gas cannot be stored at the site where the gas power plant needs it. It has to be consumed on demand. So when these gas power plants are called in the morning to ramp up to cover the fact that renewables are not up yet, and then at the end of the day also ramping up again and coming down, this sudden changes of flow, increase and reduce flow, is new to the system. So we need to investigate what's happening and NERC has already started a project to model both the gas supply system and the electrical system to understand what the bottlenecks are as well as what are the solutions. The second item I wanted to talk to you, talk to you about is the interruption of service from large solar fields. These fields are connected to the grid by a digital piece of equipment called the inverter. The inverter connect, converts direct current that comes out of the field to alternating current, which is what we use in our homes and businesses. The inverter is being interrupting its service because of fluctuations in the grid caused by, for example, fires. Three events have happened in the last three years where solar fields of the size of 600 to 1,000 megawatts all of a sudden stop producing. So the challenge is that as we use more and more solar fields, and in addition, inverters are also used for wind farms as well as batteries, we could see a lot of interruption of service. During this meeting, NERC unveiled a guideline that provides direction for the manufacturers as well as the utilities on how to fix this problem. I'm very glad that NERC as well as the Generator Forum is really addressing these heavy issues to keep our infrastructure safe. That's my power thought for the day. Thank you very much for listening.